Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to our annual math tournament. My name is Courtney Smith. I'm a 22-year-old senior from Decatur, Georgia, majoring in mathematics. I will be your moderator for today's event. First on the program, we will have the welcome by Professor Streeter and Dr. Ofodole. Good morning. Good morning. Is everybody awake? Are y'all excited? I'm glad to have you. Welcome to the annual um, ASU math tournament um, post COVID 2020. Um, I want to say thank you to all our participants and advisors that have made this happen and brought the students to us to participate. I'm so excited. Um, thank you to the ACM and our ASU students for helping without them. It wouldn't be possible. And thank you to the faculty. Thank you for helping um, behind the scenes, um, creating and um, compiling all our material for today. I hope that everybody is excited and ready to compete for these trophies. We, everybody needs to compete so they can take the school trophy home. Um, at this time, um, and of course, I forgot, I'm a little nervous. So <laughs> my name is, uh, again, Professor Heppert Streeter, and um, for, to the advisors, I'm the person behind all the thousand emails. <laughs> all right, so at this time, I'm going to let uh, Dr. Ofotole, uh, the chairperson of the Mathematics, Computer Science, and Physics Department, come up. Good morning. Y'all got to do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, like the, uh, Professor Streeter just mentioned, uh, definitely want to say welcome back. This is our first math annual tournament that we have, uh, we're bringing back since uh, 2020. So definitely excited to see all of you. I uh, want to acknowledge a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, uh, groups real quick. On behalf of the Math, Computer Science, and Physics Department, we have our faculty, all faculty, please stand. We have uh, an ACM, uh, Association of Computer, Computer and Machinery uh, Organization here at ASU, the ACM chapter of Albany, uh, at Albany State Computer Science, uh, Depart um, Computer Science and Math uh, Physics Department. So all ACM members, please stand. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, and so uh, once again, definitely want to welcome you all uh, to um, the annual math tournament. I know I looked at the weather earlier this week, and they said it was supposed to be pouring, so it had me a little bit shaky and worried, so definitely appreciate you guys in, uh, in attendance. To all our uh, participating seniors, please raise your hand. We're our seniors. All right, well, early congratulations on your, well, seniors high school, guys. In, in the back. All right. Uh, definitely want to uh, acknowledge our seniors and and definitely uh, could have you guys consider Albany State University uh, as you are applying for different uh, colleges. To our advisors, uh, those that are returning and those that are new, uh, welcome our advisors. Can you please stand? <clears throat> All right. So thank you all to our advisors for, uh, of course, uh, bringing your students uh, to this illustrious uh, um, institution. And also, we, uh, some of the previous advisors that have come to the math tournament in the past have taken advantage of our master's program in math education. So definitely have those opportunities as well. Uh, so without further ado, want to do a couple roll calls, um, make sure that uh, you guys are, quote, unquote, repping your school and are ready to go because we have a fun, exciting day for you all, and, and definitely um, it's, it's going to be jam-packed within a couple of hours, but honestly, at the end of the day, uh, the idea is to say when's the next year's event going to host. So um, without further ado, uh, some roll call, Columbus High School. Okay. I did say roll call, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's try this one more time. Columbus High School. 
All right, for those that don't know, uh, Columbus High School is actually our returning champs. So uh, they, other schools, you have, you have the opportunity this, uh, today to dethrone the, the uh, returning champs. Uh, Doherty High School. <clears throat> Early County. I was told that I always say this wrong, so let's try this. Houston County High School. <laughs> I used to say Houston, okay. <laughs> Lee County. <laughs> Mitchell County. And some schools are on the way, so um, Monroe High School. <laughs> Northside High School. Okay. Sherwood Christian Academy. Sumter High School. Tottenall Square Academy. Tiff County High School. Okay. Valdosta. Welcome. Veterans. Westover. Last but not least, Lowndes. All right. So I will leave you all with this quote, but I want you to repeat after me. Win or lose. Let's try this again. Win or lose. I'm still a winner. Let's try that one more time. Win or lose. I'm still a winner. Thank you very much. Next, we will have our greetings by President Dr. Frederick, Assistant Associate Provost, and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Porter, and the Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Hatch. Morning, everybody. I'm Angela Peters, Provost, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Welcome to the unsinkable, indestructible, Albany State University. So, the reigning champs, stand up. Reigning champs, Columbus? Columbus High School. Columbus High School, let's give them a round of applause. All right, congratulations, Columbus High School. Now, Dr. Ofole just told you, you know, something similar to somebody's gotta win, somebody's gotta lose. Well, we are all competitors. We are all highly professional, competent, courageous competitors. So forget the losing part. My challenge to you is that today there's going to be a tie between everyone. Everyone is going to go out of here, what, as winners. So let's give all of you a round of applause for winning today. Has that ever happened? It has never happened, so we are going to make it happen today. That's what life is about. That's what ASU is about. I know our faculty stood, but can you stand one more time because we need to give you a rousing, rousing round of applause. So here at Albany State University, the heart of our institution are our faculty. All right, so Dr. Ofotole talked to you about uh, your day, having a wonderful day, coming back with the W, the win, the tie. But also, as you're here today, look at our beautiful campus. Take advantage of up close and personal with our esteemed, distinguished, best of the best, first class faculty. That's what we're all about. Yes, we do provide the best education you will ever have here in Southwest Georgia, but we also give you an opportunity to, to be mentored and to bond with the best faculty in the nation. So as your provost, I would love to see you all here as freshmen or as dual enrolled students very, very soon. If there's anything that we can do to get you to Albany State, please let us know. Uh, again, I look forward to, to seeing what you can do with your math skills today, and we welcome you to Albany State University. Congratulations. How's everybody doing? Uh, 
Now, you know, as I've been here at Albany State, I've noticed one thing when our students speak. They always say their age. So, in that spirit, I am Dr. Melanie Hatch. I am the 29-year-old dean of the College of Arts. Wait, you're laughing? Okay, maybe 29 plus a few years. Now, it's wonderful to see so many of you here participating in a math competition. My undergraduate degree was in mathematics. My graduate degrees are in industrial engineering. And so if you're wondering what you can do with a math degree, I'll tell you a little bit about my career. I started out working for the Air Force. I was what was called an operations research analyst. I used to plan wars for a living. I helped plan the Gulf War. Math modeling and computer simulation are actually my specialty areas. And so um, I worked with a team. We built a math model that helped combat-coded aircraft units determine what they needed to bring with them in terms of equipment, manpower, so that they could go off and fly and fight and win the war. Then I went to work for a defense contractor, loved what I was doing. I actually got into training, which then sparked my interest in teaching. And so I started as a professor at Miami University in the School of Engineering. And I'm, now I'm a dean, and I've been in administration for two or three years. We'll just say that. But anyways, it, that's why it's so wonderful for me to see all of you here. And sorry, guys, but especially the ladies. I love seeing women in math. So because I'm an educator, I'm going to get you warmed up for the competition. I have a quiz. I know. And Ms. Howard, are you helping me out? Let's check out Ms. Howard back there. See that? If you answer correctly, you get a prize. Because as an engineer, we love our toys. So now, a couple of these are math questions. A couple of them are general questions. And so for you seniors out there, hopefully you'll be one of the first ones to be able to answer this question. All right, now I'm going to need help to help me look at the audience and see who raised their hand first. Whoever gets the correct answer first, all right, is going to win the prize. So, first question, ready? What is the minimum number of credit hours that you need to be able to graduate with a bachelor's degree? Yes, sir. 120, give that man a prize. Keep your hand raised. Oh, she's going to throw it. All right. <laughs> All right. Second question. Non-math question. But it's very important and near to dear to my heart, so I really want to hear your answer. What does a dean do? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's, you got your Okay, tell me. I'm, I'm dying to know. relationships with students. Yeah, I mean, what am I doing right here today, right? This is one of the things that deans do. Well done. Give that man a prize. I'm dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Arts and Sciences has a number of different programs, faculty. We've got math, computer science, psychology, art, music. I've got 115 faculty in my college. It's great. We serve every single undergraduate at Albany State through our gen ed classes. So we get to meet everybody that comes through the door. All right, here's an Albany State question. So hopefully you looked us up. What year was Albany State University founded? Oh, you got it. 1903, give that man a prize. All right, all right. Okay, non-math question. Why is math so awesome? Oh, ma'am. Use it in everyday life. My, uh, I asked my administrative assistant this question, and she said, so I can count my money. So, yeah, absolutely <laughs> give that woman a prize down here in the front.
All right, final question, and it's the hardest one of all. This is a math-based question. You guys ready? What is the probability, again, what is the probability that I'm the best dean in the world? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Which one? Red shirt? Oh. 100%! Yeah! <laughs> and for those of you that hesitated, that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> All right. Hey, congratulations to everybody for being here. So happy to see you. Enjoy the day. Good luck in the competition. And I'm going to turn it back over to our MC. Now we will have our rules and regulations by Associate Provost Dr. Porter. It's a great thing that you all are here today. I'm so excited to see you all. I, um, my undergraduate degree is in mathematics as well, but I took a different route. I was a high school math teacher. Shout out for all of us, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, read the rules and regulations for you just to make sure that we're all clear and on one page here. So only students taking the written exam will be allowed in the examination room while the written examination is being administered. So we have three rooms and you all will be um, divided out to go into the three different areas to take the written exam. Prior to beginning each competition, the test monitor will provide by specific instructions for proceeding. The math competition will include a 90-minute written exam and a 10-question timed ciphering match. During the ciphering competition, observers may remain in the rear of the examination room as spectators only. No coaching is allowed. So the ciphering will be back in this room after lunch. The final team standings will be based on total team points accrued during the written examination and timed ciphering match. The format of the mathematics competition is as follows. Calculators may be used during the written exam and ciphering competition. The written exam will consist of multiple choice questions covering areas of algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and a small sampling of questions identified with the areas of probability, statistics, logic, and puzzle problems. Designated teams from each school will take the 90-minute written exam. Calculators may be used during the written exam. Individual awards will be given to the persons with the highest three scores on the written exam. Additionally, individual awards will be given to the person at each school with the highest score on the written exam. The four highest scores for each school will constitute the team score for that school on the written exam. 100 points are possible for the written exam, allowing a possible team maximum of 400 points on the written exam. The ciphering competition. Four members from each school will participate in the ciphering rounds. These four students may be selected at any time prior to the beginning of the match. The four students who cipher are not required to be the same four whose scores constitute the team's written score. The ciphering match requires participants to solve problems in a race against time. Members of each team will cipher in pairs. The ciphering match will consist of 10 questions. Each ciphering question will have a time limit of two minutes. Members of the team will work on each problem together. When they agree on the answer, one person will write the answer down on the slip of paper containing the question and signal the test monitor. A monitor will retrieve the answered question and mark the question as answered in one minute or two minutes. Each team which submits a correct answer to the question during the first half or within one minute of the time limit will receive 20 points to be added to the school's written test score. Each team which submits a correct answer to a question during the second half or after the one minute mark but within two minutes of the time limit for that question will receive 10 points to be added to the school's written test score. 
Thus, a total of 400 possible ciphering points may be added to a school's written examination score. So, a total of 800 team points are statistically possible overall. 400 points on the written exam and 400 points on the ciphering match. Trophies will be awarded to the three teams with the first, second, and third highest scores. Trophies will also be awarded to the three individuals on the written exam with the first, second, and third highest scores. Additionally, trophies will be awarded to the individual with the highest score on the written exam at each school. If a tie if a tie occurs between teams, an additional ciphering question will be used with a pair of players from each school involved. The first team scoring highest will be declared the winner. If a tie occurs between individuals on the written exam, an additional written question with a specified time limit set by the tournament coordinator will be used to break the tie. The first individual having the correct answer will be declared the winner. So those are the rules and regulations for today's competition, and good luck to everybody. mentioned this morning, definitely want to congratulate everybody on a tremendous job, both on the written exam and also on the ciphering. Hopefully you guys are taking something, some part of ASU back to your high school and uh, improving in your mathematical skills and also your logic and application on that as well. Okay, so... Uh, the, as mentioned earlier this morning, we do have three set of trophies. The smaller, uh, every school will receive at least one based on the highest score on the written exam on, from their school. And so we'll start with uh, alphabetical order. Columbus High School, there was actually a tie, okay, from Columbus High School. So uh, first, Raymond and please uh, forgive me for the pronunciation, uh, Raymond Yao. And also Sabina Stanku. Congratulations. All right, from Doherty High School, Lauren Salter. Lee County High School, Anaya Gibbert. Congratulations. Austin County. Michael Doe. <laughs> Lee County High School, Brody Morris. County, Clark Rogers. Congrats. 
Congratulations. Mitchell County, Landon Quimbley. Jeff Quim. Jeff Quim. Monroe High School, Felipe Martin Miguel. Sumter County, Jaden Williams. I know they actually had to leave early, so the trophies will be uh, distributed to that school. Uh, Tottenham Square, Jacob Berkner. Sherwood Christian Academy, we actually had a three-way tie. So uh, we'll ask for all the three students to come up along with your advisor. Elias Pobre, Noah Bridges, and Nick Patton. Tiff County, Chase Nixon. Dosta High School, Madison Krosky. Veterans High School, Catherine Perez. Westover High School, Adair Zo. Zoa, my apologies.
All right, so let's give it up for all the individuals. The next set of trophies are individuals who scored the highest top three scores on the written exam. And so I'm going to start with third place, and that includes all the schools and not just uh, partition each school. So in third place, if you guys remember Dr. Peter's message this morning about the tie, we had a six-way tie. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So I'm going to start with uh, Weston Hester, Sean Powell, Sam Wempler, Clark Rogers, Carson Scott, and Rebecca Winters. So, I like anticipating for a six-way tie. We will uh, have uh, two additional trophies. Um, it's enough? Good. All right, so these individuals, and I want, definitely want to broadcast them on these individuals, as mentioned, uh, third highest score on the written exam with a score of 88. So congratulations to you all. In second place, we only had one, with a score of 90, Jacob Berkner. Congratulations. In first place, with a high score of 93 on the written exam, we had a three-way tie. So all these, uh, all the participants, please come up. Raymond Yao, Sabina Stanku, and Catherine Perez. Congratulations. All right, and finally, the moment we've been waiting for, the, the top three schools, and remember from Dr. Porter this morning, it's a combination of the top four scores from the written exam plus the ciphering scores. In third place, with a score of 543, Tottenall Square Academy. Congratulations. All right. In second place, with a high score of 565, Veterans High School.
All right. And in first place with a high score of 643. And still, back to back champions, Columbus High School. All right, so uh, let's give a round of applause to all the contestants, all the participants. One more thing I need to do. These two did not know I was going to do this, but round of applause to Professor Streeter and Professor Davis. So... Many of you do not know this, but since August of 2022, they have been working tirelessly to make sure that this event was going to be successful and effective. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, enjoyed yourselves. And so I want to thank you guys and definitely thank them for all the logistics and all the, you know, all, all the energy that they put in into this event. We definitely want to have you guys back next year and look forward to having and seeing you guys next year. So enjoy your weekend and thank you for coming.